so fucking crazy you know oh my yeah. god yeah that's, it was, that's, fucking, that's freaky man dude it was insane i got so lucky too i just like veered off the road hit a sign like you know fucked my car up a little bit but i mean shit dude if i was like driving on the highway it'd be dead man you for know? sure like yeah yeah man well wow. it's been it's been really weird just like been thinking about that a lot and not having motivation to do shit so kind of trying to get back to I, it man. yeah when you when you're like that close to death do you wish like you played more in the key <laughs> not you know what i wish i just i wish I, <laughs> I, it's the opposite actually i wish i practiced more so i could play more outside <laughs> Really fucking like go crazy with this. <laughs> you felt like you were holding back some notes. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm at like ten percent of my potential. Ah, uh, that's like, no, that's. I mean, man. you know, in a way, in a way, that's. I feel like that's sort of motivating, like in the sense that, you know, <laughs> like did you what what were like you know when you're pondering death and stuff, like what what do you want to happen with guitar? Do you want to just fuck people up with it? Like I didn't do anything. Right I feel like what I want is what everybody wants, but we're never going to get there. We just want to like feel kind of like, you know, good about it. <laughs> you know, I, I want to just be in a place where like, I feel like I'm, oh, I was actually happy about that. I was pretty proud of that instead of constantly feeling like I fucking suck and I need to get better and I need to work on this and I need to work on that. And you know, if I could just get to that place where I'm like pretty, you know, like that was pretty good at actually i'd be fucking happy man you know but hmm. i've never been there i felt that way about my album i feel that way about my recording i'm i'm, I'm happy with it you know yeah uh, but other than that you know it's like every live performance is just constantly like focusing on the negative and oh this fucking sucked i need to work on this oh that was terrible and then to think i was almost out of this world and my playing was where it was. That's pretty depressing. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty depressing. No, I'm just kidding. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I care more about, you know, I don't know, leaving my fucking wife behind and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, it's like, listen, honey. <laughs> That's kidding. I know there's a gun to my head. No. <laughs> Yeah. I can't, I can't Give an than any 30 second note run <laughs> <laughs> yeah no yeah no it was weird man it's like I kind of like didn't really care about music for a little while I was like this shit's not even that important honestly and I was caring about my dogs my family my, my wife and stuff you know yeah dude well that that shit heavy I mean it's um I, I do think I don't know but I, I on that note of feeling good about uh about what you're playing yeah I, I don't think practice is the way there from like looking at like pictures of jam band people maybe the opposite is true because you know yeah. like the guys in like goose well like you know i guess they also hit a lot of wrong notes but they don't do it in the same way uh you know they seem like to really try to play ionian and keep missing somehow it's like statistically impressive uh but they get very happy like i yeah. don't think they think about it so it's yeah. uh and also like you know i remember like when we were on tour with alan alan was always so fucking depressed mm -hmm. about his playing like just like oh it's just it's like after after the each show it's like oh my god i gotta practice like oh this shit it's like yeah i don't, I don't think that like more skill is the way out of that um yeah i i mean for me i think it's like uh 
there's some thing like I've noticed that I, I think my the solution to getting to where I want to be is just playing with my band more or doing more gigs because there's just things that happen when we play that I can't sit here and practice in this room for. 100%. Yeah, also, like, yeah, just 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 standing up changes your playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, man. Yeah. Or it's, just having somebody listening changes your playing. I remember we, we always rehearsed. We call it a fuck it. We call it the refrigerator because it's like, I mean, it's like, you know, my, my room in here is like three times the size of our fucking rehearsal room. Okay. Uh, and we had one dude come in there to listen to us. He's just sitting there against the door just listening to us. But having that one dude there, I mean, it just completely changed the way everybody played in that room, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. One person. So you just can't. And again, like playing with the dudes that I want, I like playing with, like my band or whatever, like shit just happens. I just can't. It's like I can make a note of it, but I can't come in here and practice for some of that shit. It's of course not. Of course not. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. Like my, uh, me too. Like you know, if I'm like, I have like tracks here. You know, they do a lot of things that like my drummer and bassist don't do. Like they have all the right notes. They're in time. They don't throw hurdles at me. It's smooth sailing. You know, it's like uh, yeah. with a, a yeah. real rhythm section. You're dealing with everybody's. You know, yeah, yeah, situation. And, that's, and that's the thing. It's like my rhythm section. I mean, they are constantly fucking with the time. You know, metric modulating the my bass player, who's not even really a bass player. He plays like everything. He's a really great drummer too. He can just he, he studied a lot of those like Indian rhythms and stuff, and he can just do all this crazy shit and go with the drums. And they can just create all these all these moments, and I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? Where's, you know, where's the time? You know what I mean? But I can't, I can't, I can't recreate that in here. I can't practice for that. I just have to play with them more and I love it. And when those moments happen, I don't feel as free as I want to free. I, I, yeah. as I want to feel. And that's the thing. Yeah. Like I hear, I can hear in my head what I want to do when they're doing that shit and it's not happening. And that's the shit that I want to get better at, you know? So uh, yeah, I'm in a different place in life. Cause whenever my, cause my rhythm section does the same thing, but I just want to sit them down and scream at them. Like play the fucking groove children, play the groove. I don't care. I don't care about your moments. And that's why you get gigs and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love when shit just gets really weird. And it's, it's almost like, you know, it's not even like, oh, it's the guitar solo time. Everybody look at me. It's like everybody's improvising at the same time. And it just got the, it the from shifted <laughs> here and here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. it went from uh, from stay in your lane to lane is a social construct. Exactly. <laughs> um, I just like that shit, man. I just, I love it. Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I believe you. I do not. I, I, like, I just like when people groove and get the fuck out of my way. Uh, I like that. I like that too, man. I like that too. But um, with, yeah, this, just, with this type of stuff, I just love it when it's just like, everybody's just, it's just like, man, we're, we're, we're just all improvising in the parameters of this form and this song and these changes, you know? Yeah, I don't think about bassists and drummers as equals in the guitar solo. I, I it's like this is my time. Yeah, I I worked, I worked very hard while you guys, you know, smoked all your weed. I practiced and practiced, and uh, now just let me do it. You know. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it changes the music, like the amount of uh, how much of a dictator you are to, to your band. You know, it, it certainly uh, changes changes things. Yep. So, are we got? Are, are you gonna shred on African chop die? Yeah, man. Did you see the video I sent you? I was, no, when did you send me a video? Like thirty minutes ago, I was practicing. Uh, I was practicing and trying to get my shit together. I sent you these lines over that over that oh, track or whatever. Sick. Maybe you can use it for something. I, I don't know. Yeah, like yeah. Intro or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll send it yeah, to Yeah, man. Uh, this one's like pretty fucking simple. I think I only used like 
two scales, but I think it sounds pretty cool, man. So yeah. I did uh, one time through the form. So, you know, two phrases yeah. on the uh, E7 chord and two phrases on the A7 chord. Yeah, so just for people's context, this is like one of one of um, one of me and Danny's songs, African Shop Tie, and it's, uh, I just wanted to see what Thomas comes up with. And really what's going on there, we just have like... Uh, that is so loud. Oh my lord. Hold on one second. Let me turn on this guitar a little bit. Jesus. So, uh, yeah, we, we have like this uh, thing. Which is just like an E half diminished, and then it goes to like a like D harmonic minor with A in the bass, kind of like a D phrygian dominant, or A phrygian dominant. I think it's like four bars or eight bars of each. Uh, yeah, eight bars of each. Um, yeah, so that's the content. Okay, man. Um, okay so uh, let's listen to this first phrase. Sure. <laughs> That's cool. All E half whole diminished scale. Um, and it's fucking just like pattern central, man. It's just like literally all pattern what, what are you doing? What are you uh, doing? So we're starting <laughs> um, That's the pattern. And it moves down. It moves down in minor thirds, but it moves like through the string sets. And you're doing it. Let me see if I know how you're pick now. Down, pull off, up, down, right? <laughs> pull off. Yeah, yeah, you got it, man. Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm so, wait, so down, pull off, up, down. Yeah. Is that it? When you when you got these patterns, like okay, so I'm thinking about the first group. That that that's easy to finger. Here, what what are you using for fingering on the second wave? So I'm going middle index. Third, and then winner. So, oh, that's weird. I guess that makes sense. I wouldn't think to do that like in time. If I can, if I can avoid doing like a, a bar, I will avoid it. Uh, just because I feel like it sounds. Yeah. And then here, same deal. Like, yeah, that's the same one. That's sick. I love that. Yeah, yeah, and it's all sixteenth yeah. notes, and you get this kind of like downstroke, man. It's, it's I always do it as an up, like down, up, up. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you kind of get this, uh, you get this like five kind of thing happening. You know what I mean? It's all 16th notes, but it's like kind of grouped in fives, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is going to lead to another, uh, this is a 2 1 2 thing. That shape, that's going to move in tritones. So that's like a, it's like a minor seven. Yeah, it's a minor seven. What's the last one? 
So that I, I borrowed that. Uh, this shit's so hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, so that whole thing. Ah, so that last note in the pattern of five is the first note. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me see if I got this straight. I'm going to try to do it with your picking, too. <laughs> Okay. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's so picking, man. Like, down, hammer on, down. <laughs> Okay, cool. Does that make sense so far? Yes, it does make perfect sense. All right, so this goes, uh, this this last uh, minor arpeggio, you're going to slide up, up a minor third, and then we're going to start another pattern that's kind of like a 3-1-2 pattern. This thing, I, I think we talked about it before. Doesn't look familiar. <laughs> it's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And okay, so you think about it like uh... that kind of thing? There you go. Oh. And the last one, uh, hold on. Yeah, I had an extra note. sick and that's all e yeah no. every, everything's all e half whole diminished yeah right that's the third okay so this is like the fit the so wait a second Okay. Okay, I'm less, I'm less confused. Starting from the six, yeah. Yeah, and that one gets really weird uh, because I wrote a certain picking thing on there, but then when I recorded it, just like, I don't know, an hour ago and sent it to you, I was looking at it, and it looks like I sweet pick, I think, all of it. So I think... Uh, I think it's like this. I think it's sweeping on the way up and on the way down. But the way I have it written is like where it's like, like that's the normal way I pick, like the outside picking thing, down, up, and then legato, and then sweeping on the way uh, back down. Uh -huh. So it would be like down, hammer, hammer, pull off, up, up, up. No, so it's like. 
And then, yeah, up, up, pull off. Out of all the people I've talked to, like your picking style is by far the weirdest. I, know, that's a bad I, just, I just don't know when things are coming. Like, you know, like, like everything is really surprising to me, but like, it, it's like, I really think that that's like the biggest in your specific sound. It's weird. Cause it's like, it seems like picking is like for the way you describe it, like this weird crutch, but it ended up being so atypical that it gives the lines a super unique sound, like just the way it throws the accents around. It's super cool. <laughs> I have to think about it. It's so hard to do that. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Very cool. Very cool. You're a disciple. <laughs> you what? I'm your disciple. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's the that's the first four bars of the thing. Uh -huh. um, yeah, all E half whole diminished, man. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. I need. I, I want to do it like a like a real dojo, and I'll get like a like a white baseball cap that I'll flip around, and I'll graduate to like a blue. <laughs> get a get a red one, a brown hat. Eventually, be a black hat. And you'll get a headless guitar. <laughs> <laughs> awesome cool that's awesome that's that's really cool so can you can you walk us through that that far just play it through kind of slow yeah 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 so we have <laughs> subdivision there too uh, the subdivision changes to quintuplets, and then it's like uh, the last grouping of that is. Oh, so that is actual. So that's like one, two, three. But they're grouped one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what it is, man? It's really just like I wanted it to be faster, a little bit faster. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's like just trying to make it to where I get to here right on beat one. Okay. That's good. That's good. That yeah. sounds sick, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. See, it all sounds fucking lame when I'm sitting here playing it, but I watch somebody else play it. I'm like, dude, that's fucking badass. <laughs> We're getting better. Hell yeah, man. All right. Uh, What's going okay. on? Uh, next phrase is also E half whole diminished. And um, yeah, this one's uh, straight out of Holdsworth, man. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so it's this, it's the uh, minor third half step shape. You can't see it because Nick's out of frame, but he is masturbating. He pulled it out right when he played that. Yeah. <laughs> he's, is that the stuff he likes? It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that mean stop? <laughs> Yeah. Sign up for the uh, for his Patreon. They turn the camera over to Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're pushing. We're pushing his OnlyFans. Yeah, man. So uh, again, so this pattern starts on G. Yeah, minor third half step, and then you it. So I'm going. Uh, up and then uh, what, how are you doing this? Let's so like so it goes, and then you go back up, and then you do that same kind of fingers. 
Yeah, I, I don't know why I do that. I've always naturally used those three fingers. Okay. Thank you. Sometimes I'll go. Use the pinky to add an extra note. You're blowing my mind right now. Okay. Well, so, okay, the pattern is. No, 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 no. So it's. Okay. Yeah. And then when you get back down there, shift up a tritone. You do that same thing. You get on the G in the, in the high E string now. Okay, you go, you go all the way back down. Oh, sorry. That's like the whole chunk. You're gonna just throw that up a minor third. Second chunk again? So the second chunk's exactly the same. But when you get down to where you typically shift up again, go back up. And then basically I go I do this. I see. And then on A. That's where the chord switches. I see to A. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Ah, is that just that sucked, but I'll do it real <laughs> slow. Blast through it one time for us. We'll see. Kind of. hmm. That's good. Kind of shitty, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to back in the groove, man. Uh, that's um, good. good. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Again, all all E half hold diminished. Um, and now we're at the A7 chord. And I think over the A7 part, I used, uh, I don't think, I used F jazz major, add flat three, flat six for the whole thing. So, which makes sense, because that's the third mode of that gives you that Phrygian yeah, sound. It, yeah, it's, you can think of it as D harmonic minor with some added notes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which is, yeah, that's the sound. So uh, the first phrase over that is, let me find it. Okay. Um, so this one, I'm kind of using that half step or a uh, minor third half step shape again, huh? but inside of that scale. So it's... up there i see that you're using your pinky yeah yeah uh you know i um I just, you need less reach yeah i think i started when i played these phrases 
I always like add a note with my pinky. Like there's a, a lick on uh, my album where it's like that thing. But um, I can't remember what diminished scale it was, but I was. I'm like adding that. To grab. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, when I started playing like patterns like that, I always I started playing it with those three fingers, you know, but. Um, that makes sense. Right. Yeah, not that anything makes sense. Where, where are you starting that shape? Oh, it starts on F. You're gonna do that that shape basically starting on F, then on B flat, and then on uh, E, A, uh, C sharp. So that's that's all the places you play that. Okay, right, and now we go into one of those weird Holdsworth movements where it's like. So it's like. Ever? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess you could just listen to it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So after this, from that, what's up? So from uh, if to get there would be. Did I yes. No, you got it. sounding thing yeah it's like a little enclosure I get here And imagine that. Oh my god. It's <laughs> like a Disney. <laughs> right. Um yeah, man. That's that whole phrase. Does that one make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, all F jazz major, flat three, flat six. And then this next phrase is like that too. It's all F jazz major add flat three, flat six. <laughs> I can't believe that's about to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it starts off with a uh, two, one, two, one, two, two. So I guess that's more traditional to how like Tim Miller would do it. Like it's just a diminished arpeggio. Okay. <laughs> So as I, I'm just down, 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 just like... Uh, 
I can't remember how I Yeah, okay. Uh, am I? Hold on, let me look at that phrase. Let me look at the people I did. No, I don't. When I, when I have it written here is I hammer on the last note. Yeah, it sounds great the way you do it, honestly. It's like I really like the articulation a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. At least I got one thing going for me, man. Yeah, well, yeah, you have, you have amazing uh, you have other powers. You know what's crazy, man? It's like I was – I can't even really improvise over this song. It's so different than the way – my tunes are, you know, like I, I think I've almost gotten to the point where I'm like relying on a shit ton of chord changes. And if you just play the changes, your solo sounds cool. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> what the hell am I going to do for eight bars over E7? All of our music is like that. All of our music. That, like, that's like really difficult for me. All, all of our music is like absurd amounts of times on each chord. An absurd yeah. amount of like space on each chord. That's difficult, man. Like, I got so used to just, like, things changing so fast. It's like playing over the one chord vamp stuff is, like, really hard, actually, now. Because I'm like, shit, man, how do I sound interesting? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're certainly uh, you're on the right track. <laughs> it's difficult, man. It really is. It's like, fuck, eight bars of this and then eight bars of that. And then it just keeps doing that. Fuck, man, that's, that's hard. That's really difficult. Yeah. You know, so that's a, that's a superpower in and of itself, man. Um, anyways, so this is a, this is a very similar phrase to what we did on blue bossa. Um, so we're kind of going down this like kind of Hungarian minorish kind of thing, right? <laughs> some weird picking yeah it's that thing where it's like pick pick to love okay. Okay. up down up pull off down up pull off slide And from that diminished lick, it starts right away, right? So. faster and really impress you. I feel like I can't even play that fast right now, man. <laughs> I've been practicing before we got on. I've been practicing for the last like three hours, just trying to fucking feel normal again. And it's like, it's not there, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll bounce back from this. Yeah. I told you I had a seizure in 2009 or 10. I was like talking, I was, I was working at a guitar store up in Womet. Um, I was talking to a guy on like a break between students in the front room. And I was like, I remember like, hey, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, well, are you okay? Blah, blah. I remember like I had speech arrest, they called that. And then I just like, 
felt that my knees couldn't breathe, just felt everything kind of contract. And I, boom, hit the ground, woke up in the stretcher inside the ambulance. And the way to the hospital, just like, what's your name? I'd be like, I, I have one. So, <laughs> yeah, I know I have one. So, do you remember it like happening as it was happening? I remember the beginning. I remember like the tightening and the speech arrest, and then passed out. Yeah, that's the, that's the trip. That's the trip for me. I don't even remember any of that. I remember uh, they had some construction going on on my road, and they had it down to one lane, and they had you know dudes over there closing it. So he like flagged me, waved at him, turned on the road, and then woke up in the hospital. I don't remember fucking anything. You know? Did you get like? Did you go get checked out? Like, I did. Yeah, they did. They did scans of my brain and stuff. It was all there. Uh, but yeah. yeah so, yeah, they tried to put me on some, like, uh, meditation for the rest of my life called Kepra. Uh, and I started to hit for, like, a week. And it was just, like, fucking me up. Like, I was really affecting my mood and shit. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just not going to do anything. And nothing ever happened again. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, they scanned my brain. Didn't see any, like, tumors or anything like that. But I'm going to go see, like, a neurologist and see what the fuck... That's good, you know. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to just get put on some fucking medicine because I'm kind of like you. Like, I'm not going to do that, you know. No. no, you're in Texas. You don't have to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, man. Uh, okay, does that up to that? Up to there? Yeah, makes, it makes total sense. Um, so when we get here... <laughs> We do the famous Holdsworth arpeggio. Right. What is going on there? Oh. Yeah. Yep, and then this is going to lead into your favorite thing in the whole world, man. This is uh, one of these movements that's really crazy. Yeah, yeah. He this one's a little bit different to uh i kind of really keep this tritone shape happening and it creates some really interesting chromaticism that i think sounds sick uh so that's all the same yep. yeah you got that so from here So that's on the G string? Yep, yep. What's going on there? So it's like, uh, it's oh. like C, uh, C to A, and then B flat to A on the G. That's so confusing. Yeah, th this... That's some really interesting chromaticism. I see. Yeah, so... You know... Starts on the uh, on the oh. That's so freaky. this <laughs> oh shit that's like, I can't believe you buy this man yeah uh, that's that little chunk or whatever and then 
So this is like a, this is actually a passing tone. This note's not in the scale, but I use this note, slide up here, and then I think that's hammer on from nowhere, and then up down. Yeah. Then we're back to the E7 part now. Okay, so that long movement is. That's it. Do it. Yeah. So it's... That's so freaky. Shit, man. I felt like I was having like an on fire turn on like that Simon game. Bobby. <laughs> it's just like the most atonal Simon board in the history. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll train your child with that shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Dude, you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna go into business? We'll do the metal fatigue Simon. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a generation of depressed kids. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Exactly. Kids be having seizures left and right, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're killing it, though, man. I see that shit. You got it, man. Yeah, thank you. If if the if this music required soloing with this patterns and quarter notes, I would be your, I'd be your guy. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what was really trippy about this line is. Uh, this that whole fragment that we just played exists in actually like B flat mode three, and normally when I play that I think of it as a mode three thing, but I was just fucking around with a, a major add flat three flat six, and that whole thing is inside that scale. If you're thinking about starting it from the four, you know it's like F jazz major add flat three flat six, but if I start on B flat, that whole mode three thing is in that scale. So it's kind of it's pretty interesting, you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking of that whole whole line is just that one scale F uh, jazz major flat three flat six. So it has all that cool shit in there, you know. Well, that's, I, that's what I love about it, man, is because you can like see all this familiar stuff in there, you know. Like you see the diminished arpeggio, you see the kind of Hungarian minor thing, and then you see what would look like a mode three thing, but it's all under the umbrella of one scale, you know. It's yeah. kind of cool. That is cool. Uh, I'll mention to the people, we have this all tapped out for you in the guitar profile uh, for download. Uh, if you want to support uh, the new non for profit, it's called Thomas's Seizure Fund. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to help him back on his feet, to help the damages for the car. Uh, so you can, you can purchase that. Um, yeah, dude. You know, me and Nick went to see Matteo Mancuso. Two nights ago, I messaged you from the concert. Dude, yeah. how, was, how was that, man? Dude, it was so good. It was so funny. People, first of all, he plays sold out shows playing Fusion. He's like playing the chicken and shit. Uh, and, and, and and it's just like, you know what I mean? And we had like an ongoing joke that like his uh, bassist and drummer are going to go back to Italy and be like, Mario! <laughs> You won't believe uh, people I love the fusion in America. All we got to do is start a fusion band. We just go there and take all the fucking money sold out every night. And then, like, they'll take Mario instead of Matteo and come to America and find out... <laughs> <laughs> when you're not doing it with your fingers it's like these middle-aged men just wanted to be finger banged that's it you know what i mean because we're all here trying to give them holdsworth and this and the thing is about 
what Instagram teaches us is we thought that the American middle-aged ponytailed man wants to be fucked to death with atonal shredding. But the truth is that they all just love being finger banged. Yeah. That's as far as they were willing to take it. That's it, man. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, I mean, yeah, that puts it in perspective, man. He's sitting there playing the fucking chicken, dude. Sold out. Sold out. Like, we're, like, we're like a city winery, like 400 people, just all like watching, watching this kid's fingers. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, so funny because I closed my eyes a few times at the show. I had a blast. I think I think it's great, uh, yeah. but I closed my eyes a few times at the show, and I was just like, "How are these lines?" Like, if I just listen to like the music, and it's like solid few. It sounds a lot like Guthrie or Greg Howe or something. Oh, yeah, which, for sure. I mean, he comes from that, you know. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I just. I, I just, instead of a meet and greet, I, I think you should like after the show do a smell my fingers. <laughs> That's awful, man. You know? And also, the best thing about watching this guy is like every time he talks to the mic, it's like, we are all from Sicily, from Palermo. And then people in the audience, what are they saying? <laughs> they're just mock what he was They're saying. just like mocking what he's saying, like an Italian accent. It's just like, play a free bird, Palermo, <laughs> Italia, buongiorno. Like people, and I'm just like, it's just like it doesn't matter how sick you get at the guitar. You come to America, and we're gonna laugh at your fucking accent. It's yeah, awesome. yeah. <laughs> American right now. Is there anything more American than that? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Go back to Sicily. Go back to Mama. Give her all the money you made in America. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, man. It's funny. Listen, that's man. awesome. It is, you you know, right now we're in a really unique place in history where it's okay to be super racist against the Italians and nobody cares online. We got to cash in those checks while, while we still can, because that shit funny. Hell yeah, man. I mean, just ride yeah. that train as long as it goes. Absolutely. No, but it was a great show. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was a good time. We really had a good time. We got fingers. Uh, and it's, it really did feel like a finger banging because it's uh it makes you it it didn't feel like you got the full girth of a fusion show, but you're certainly intrigued about receiving some more. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome, dude. That's cool. You got to see that, man. Um, yeah. Where what? Where was that? City Winery in Chicago. Yeah. No, that was really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time and your energy. I wish you a speedy recovery, and uh, we'll do more of this. I'll send you some more shit. Hell yeah, man. Should we do uh, Tokyo Dream, or is that lame? Because it's too oh, let's do Tokyo Dream. Like, nobody will know what the fuck is going on, including me, but I think it would be good for everybody. It's going to be a bunch of major scale shit, man, you know? I, I, don't, I don't know, but you'll surprise me. You'll, you'll show me.